of Prince Mangosutu Putelezi has laid bare the deep scars and unhealed wounds of the widespread violence that engulfed South Africa's black townships in the 80s up until the 90s. On the 17th of June 1992, hundreds of armed men believed to be affiliated to Ingata stormed the Joe Slovo informal settlement during the night, killing some while leaving others to tell the tale. On that night, Oma Masueta, who was nine months pregnant at the time, took refuge under her bed, but her brother fell victim to the sheer violence. We heard a gunshot sound. I'm 60 years old, but since birth I've never had such a sound. I don't know what kind of guns they were using. Then our windows started breaking and we heard Makob, Makob and Vulani Zinja. We then heard the dining room door open. Silence. They started stabbing the bed with spears. We were dead quiet under the bed. Then they started saying the dogs have run away. Then they went out the house breaking things. One of the bloodiest and brutal moments of violence at the time was construed as attempts by the apartheid government and its collaborators to undermine negotiations as South Africa was entering into its democratic era. Prince Butelezi, as founder of the IFP, was fingered as someone who sanctioned the violence in collaboration with security forces, a claim he denied. Meta Mulete, who was only three at the time of the violence that killed her father, says that a white man in a balaclava had stormed their home and hit her on the head with a panga, leaving her wheelchair bound. I was hit by a white man on the head, so my mom was trying to protect me, but they got me on the head. That's how I got hurt. This is why I'm in a wheelchair today. The death of Butelezi has thrust his complex legacy into the spotlight, with some characterizing it as that of a quote-unquote mass murderer, a claim he denied up until his passing. I want to say emphatically that they, I was never involved in any formation of any hit squads against anybody. And I can say before my creator that I've never been involved in any decision to kill one single person, nor has the IFP been involved in such in such activity. Survivors who are still navigating the trauma as a result of the violence, however, are numb to his passing. There's nothing that will make me remember him. He must just rest in peace. I feel numb. There is nothing I feel. Meanwhile, as scores of mourners continue to descend on Butelezi's homestead, he is expected to be given a send-off on Friday, but there will be no love lost in Boipatong. Mangosudu Butelezi was never a, 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 a good person. And where he is today, he will never be a good person because he killed our loved ones, our sisters, our grandmothers, and he will never be a good person. May his soul rest in peace. Kenny Mapanga, SABC News, Boy Padong.